For millions in the Midwest, it doesn't feel like July this morning. A blast of cold air is pushing temperatures down to record low territory. That system resembles last winter's pattern that plunged much of the country into a deep freeze. Remember that? CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York and joins us at the table. Good to see you, Professor. We haven't seen you in a while, yeah, so glad welcome to be back. On again. Right. So for most people in the country, July, you are not supposed to wear a coat. So what is <laughs> happening here? What's wrong with this picture? It's wacky weather time yeah. again, right? You mentioned January. Well, we had that punishing series of storms that pummeled the Northeast. Part, partly caused by the instability of the North Polar region. We're seeing that same instability now. Now, on one hand, we have the remnants of the typhoon, which hit Japan last week, colliding with the northern Arctic uh, ice, uh, uh, cold air, to create this gigantic low pressure area. But the long-term implications are perhaps we're seeing an instability of the whole Arctic region. That's potentially very dangerous. Should meteorologists be worried? Yeah, it, the colder the Arctic is, the more stable it is. Uh, the polar vortex is like a tornado, a tornado of cold air at the North Pole. But as the North Polar region warms up, this tornado becomes unstable. Pieces of it break off, like what happened in January, mm -hmm. and something similar is happening now. So the good news is enjoy yeah. the summer because we're going to have mild temperatures and even hailstorms in part of the Northeast. But the long-term implications are ominous. What are the ominous long-term implications? Well, think of what's happening in California, where we have this punishing drought going on for years. And then in the Midwest, uh, temperatures dropping 10 to 30 degrees and then hailstorms in the Northeast. In California, you see the brunt of this climate change. Uh, the fact that um, estimates of damage to the agricultural industry are about $800 million this year. 14,500 agricultural workers could get laid off mm. in California because of this ongoing drought. And perhaps this week, the state of California could pass mandatory restrictions on water use mm. because of the severity of the drought. Yeah. That means essentially rationing of water. Why, so, though, is, are things cold here at home, but then in the rest of the world you're seeing a totally different story. It's actually quite hot. Uh, that's right, because normally it should be quite warm. But what's happening is that the North Polar region, because it is warming up, becomes more unstable. And pieces, pieces of the Arctic cold air are breaking off. And these are unpredictable. Satellite photographs taken by NASA from outer space clearly show that what should be a very similar symmetric uh, cold front in the North Polar region is breaking up into smaller pieces. And that's causing concern among meteorologists. Michio, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you.